Hi guys, this is Vo. Um, so I bought a, a Muzi um, screen. This is a GPIO interface and um, there's a little fan underneath it uh, which you have to put together uh, yourself and uh, you mount it on the side of the panel with the stickers and everything. Uh, it does come with heat sink and everything and a micro U uh, HMI to full size HMI uh, and um, this, the bottom part is actually not part of the uh, the Muzai screen. Uh, this is uh, the Bopai case, which uh, is a lot prettier than what comes with the actual Muzai um, screen, which is big, bulky, and kind of kind of too big uh, for what I'm looking for. I'm looking for a small form factor of a screen that I can bring to a friend and kind of demonstrate to RetroPi or you know Linux or Ras Raspbian um, anyway um, currently I can't get it to run uh, Kodi but um, it's probably because of the resolution issue but uh, anyway um, yeah so I'm plugging it in to kind of show you what it looks like now you do need to boot up into Raspbian uh, for some reason uh, it I don't think it works if you try to boot to um, to emulation station for some reason. Um, anyway, um, as you can see, the video is going to play is is actually uh, vertical because these screens are actually kind of like me meant for phone, and so a lot of the screen resolution is actually f vertical. And you have to um, tell the configuration file that um, you need to rotate it uh, uh, to you know landscape or whatever. Um, well, anyway. Um, yeah, so the touchscreen does work uh, thanks to the GPIO, and Raspbian actually comes natively supports it. But the touchscreen actually isn't very good or very, isn't very accurate. Uh, and this, even with the stylus, I'm having a hard time trying to uh, point. Uh, so I do recommend getting a tiny little keyboard with a little mouse cursor. Uh, you can get this for like 20 bucks at um, Micro Center. It's their house brand, the Inlan. Uh, key, tiny little keyboard and um, you know it works and uh, anyway so from here you can um, type in emulation station and it will launch uh, RetroPie or emulation station and um, um, it does like I said it does work and you can choose and play games on it and it's actually a really great little demo device you can kind of show off to your friends and um, yeah, but it's uh, just get in there, get into the screen. It's actually, um, like I said, not very friendly or easy. Uh, in order to to get, uh, you know, uh, when you install it, it it doesn't just automatically work. Uh, you need to actually download the drivers, and so you do need a a, a real regular monitor to set it up. And once you um, download the drivers and run the install. Um, then you can use the screen, but uh, before um, I, mean, I have to say that the instruction that they gave you is not very good, and uh, it's because obviously the people who wrote it um, English wasn't their first language, so um, it was kind of tough to understand what they're trying to tell you. Uh, I'm sure they're very smart people, but um, it's just English is just not their forte, and so. Um, yeah, so um, if you do download the drivers, there are uh, like 20 different sets of instructions you can use uh, for this particular one because it's the four inch screen you have to issue the uh, you know pseudo the four inch screen model which is like a pseudo dot um, slash um, you know uh, four zero 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 eight something um, and and you can't just unplug the HDMI uh, to mini HDMI out and then plug it into um, a monitor and a work it won't work like that so you have to then issue the command of changing it back to HDMI um, it's kind of annoying but I mean it's I, I guess it works but um, I, I wish it was just um, hot swappable where you just unplug it and plug in a different device and then Raspberry Pi will recognize and automatically adjust the resolution that's not the case and um, obviously Maybe there's something that they can build down the line, but um, at the moment, uh, if you want to use it on a different screen, you have to tell Raspberry Pi that you're changing resolution. It's not automatic at all. 
and it's not very like I said it's not very friendly because um, you have to know all the special codes and the special words and you know to the commands um, yeah if you're not um, familiar with Linux you're not familiar with Raspberry Pi um, yeah it's this kind of stuff is not really meant for you and it's really not meant for me either but uh, if you're willing to, to kind of learn and get over it uh, you can get around it and get it to work and uh, um, you know I'm glad that I, I got it I think it's, it's kind of cool and um, but yeah it's just kind of hard to understand um, yeah so if uh, I do recommend it if you're looking for a little tiny little four inch screen it's the Muzai um, four inch screen and um, yeah um, uh, good luck. <laughs>